Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody at this table takes care of each other. It's a very caring table. So I wanted to ask about the character of Carlos. Yeah. Um, you were so beloved on Supernatural for characters like Charlie that sure. were just like so richly detailed, but also that really spoke to a lot of people who don't always feel represented. Is Carlos going to be a similar kind of character? You know, I don't know. I, you know, it's funny. I don't, I don't, when I'm creating characters, I don't really think about that kind of stuff. I know that, that Charlie is a character that has really endured, like someone just like thanked me for, and I was like, thank Felicia Day, because she's the one. But really, like, it's hard for me to separate coming up with the idea and then the collaboration with, with the actor. You know, Jojo, uh, Jojo's non-binary, uses uh, they, them pronouns, and they are, they are such a national treasure um, and a delightful just just energy and so like what they're bringing I'm excited mm -hmm. to have that connect with the audience um, but I don't know that I've ever like thought about it in those terms because like you just never know do you know what I mean you never know I, I knew once we cast Felicia I was like oh okay you know, like, you know like she's like this known person it, it was uh, and we literally Sarah Gamble was like, we need a, uh, no, I said like, we need a Felicia Day type. And Sarah was like, how about we, like, and so she just, I remember getting that email. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, you can just do that. And like, that's what, that's what showrunners can do. But it's a real credit to, to Jojo, really. I, I think people are going to love this character and it's really Jojo and, and a special like credit to Robert Ulrich, who's our casting director oh, yeah. and his team. They cast Supernatural and that was probably one of the harder parts to cast just because you need Carlos to kind of be everything. Um, you know, it's a very fun uh, character who has a very dramatic entrance, as you'll as you'll soon, soon see. Uh, and we needed someone that could really walk on. But but honestly, Robert found us. I, I really. Someone was just asking me what I'm the most excited about. I'm really excited for people to meet this cast. These characters are amazing, and it's been a real collaboration with this cast. They are such special. You're going to meet like two of them right now. They are really really special. You can't. You can't recreate Jared and this guy. Uh, I'm pointing to, sorry, I'm pointing to Mr. Jensen Ackles. You can't. But what we wanted to do was try to find the type of fun atmosphere on set, and, and we've really, I think we've really done a good job of recreating that. Can't wait to see more. Yeah. Uh, you've done something huge with Supernatural, and we already know some stuff about their family and their past. How did you make sure that everything that you're going to do in the Winchesters align with what we know from Supernatural? This is a great question. Because the and fans it, are coming for you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> And they should. I was the first person to ask that question. I was like, wait, how's this going to work? The, the, the great thing about working on a show like Supernatural was that we always kind of pushed the boundaries. We were always kind of thinking outside the box. And that takes two to tango. It takes a great cast, which we had on Supernatural, but also takes a great audience, an audience that's willing to kind of go there with you. And so when we kind of sat sort of talking about it, I was like, well, Jensen and Daniil and, and Renee, who's their, their executive over at Chaos Machine, we were like, we do not want to do one thing that will undo one moment of Supernatural. So for anybody that thinks, oh, it's going to change the ending, no, it's not going to rewrite anything. How we get there is a bit of a surprise. Um, we will reveal it in episode 13, I promise. I'm not going to hold it for like 13 seasons. Uh, I'm not that much of a, of a jerk. Um, but we really wanted an opportunity for these characters to be able to have their own story, and then you'll start to understand. Now, I think if you're someone that maybe has seen 15 uh, seasons of Supernatural a few yeah, times, we all did. you know, <laughs> um, you're probably gonna have a pretty good, solid guess about what's going on uh, in a couple of different directions. Um, uh, I'm not as, as keyed in to what's going on on the internet anymore, but I'm sure that uh, the fans have theories. And that's good, you know, uh, if it's good. But I do want to reassure people that, like, we have no interest in deleting, control alt deleting, resetting, anything like that. I think we have a fun, creative solution. Um, we want to create it. We wanted to create a show that could live on its own um, and be its own thing, a la Better Call Saul or these kind of prequels. But again, because we have this ability to do different outside of the box things. Um, we, we have a creative solution for it, which I promise will happen in episode 13. Promise.